October 2024. The world watches in shock as tensions between Israel and Iran explode into open conflict. With over 200 ballistic missiles launched from Iran at key Israeli military and civilian sites, the question on everyone's mind, is this the start of World War III? But wait a minute. This isn't the first time these two nations have clashed. But in October, the largest direct attack by Iran on Israel marked a dramatic escalation in their ongoing shadow war. Iran launched Operation True Promise 2, firing hundreds of missiles in retaliation for Israel's recent assassinations of key figures in Hamas and Hezbollah, both Iran-backed militant groups. Israel's missile defense systems managed to intercept most of the missiles, preventing widespread casualties, but some still hit sensitive locations, including the Nevatim Air Base in southern Israel, damaging runways and a hangar. The Israeli government labeled the strikes as a big mistake and promised that Iran will pay for its actions. The war between Israel and Iran goes deeper than these missile attacks. For years, they've been locked in a proxy conflict, fighting indirectly through militant groups like Hezbollah and Hamas, while Israel is determined to prevent Iranian forces from establishing a foothold near its borders. But this conflict isn't just about Israel and Iran. The US is deeply involved, intercepting some of the missiles and warships in the Red Sea, Jordan also allowed the U.S. to use its airspace for missile defenses. With regional players like Hezbollah in Lebanon and Iraqi militias signaling potential involvement, the situation potential to spiral out of control, dragging the entire region into conflict. As the world braces for the next move, many are asking, could there a larger war involving the U.S., Iran, Israel, and their allies? Some experts believe we're on the edge of a larger regional conflict, with the risk of increasing with every passing day. While both Israel and Iran are preparing conflict, the broader question remains. Is there a path to peace, or is this just the beginning of something much, much worse? Stay tuned for more updates on this critical situation, and let us know in the comments below. What do you think comes next?